Hi, my name is Matt Heater, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a paper that I wrote on hydraulic fracturing, and more specifically, hyd uh, hydraulic fracturing in Ohio, and whether or not I believe that it's beneficial for Ohio to continue to use the process, and also the United States if it's beneficial for that as well. <clears throat> my paper that I wrote is basically broken down into four sections. Um, the first one being a background information on fracking. Next would be the pros of fracking. At following that would be the cons of fracking, and also my opinion on whether or not it is beneficial. Okay, so starting off with a background on fracking or hydraulic fracturing. Um, it was first discovered and tested in 1947. This is according to Jeremy Pelsner of Cleveland.com. Um, it was first tested and discovered by George Mitchell. He's considered the father of fracking. Uh, and this occurred in Grant County, Kansas. He came up with the idea because he wanted to replace the old previous drilling system, which was developed in 19, or 1860, uh, which was the vertical drilling. He came up with the idea for vertical, vertical then horizontal drilling. Um, and this was really big because it was more cost effective way of drilling because there's less wells that need to be drilled. Uh, so right here in, the, in on my slideshow, I have the old style right, right here would be just straight vertical down drilling. And then over here is a picture of the fracking version. Uh, so basically the process of fracking, um, instead of just drilling down vertically, you drill down vertical until you hit the pocket of natural gas. Once you hit that pocket, the drill go out, goes out 180 degrees each side uh, until it hits the end of the veins. And then it sprays high pressure water or fracking water uh, into the crack, to crack the, the rock layer to release the gases so that it can be recollected. Uh, this usually occurs in Mar uh, Marcella Shale, which is where the, the most rich gas vein is. Um, some of the, when I was saying fracking water, um, according to chemscience.com and gasland.com, the fracking water consists of VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds, um, and it's also mixed with sand. So these chem some of the chemicals that are included in this would be benzene, toluene, exylene, and other various substances, um, and then also the sand. So the Chemicals break it up and then they react with the sand in order to keep the cracks open so that it can be recollected. After that process, the, the gas is pumped back to the surface where it's taken to refining companies so where they can refine it for us to use every day. Um, then after that, the wastewater or the fracking water is pumped back out and it's taken to a refining area itself so that it can be eventually put back into the uh, the water systems so that it can be used again. Okay, and then moving on to the pros of fracking, I found it easiest was to break it up into three sections of economic pros, environmental pros, and political pros of fracking. So focusing on economic pros, um, right away from fracking there's a huge economic boost. Anything where you're making money is obviously going to help the economy. Um, not only is there an increase in, in money, but there's also an increase in jobs. Um, according to Carrie Linderson of Energy XXI, there's a 1.7 million job increase from 2015 from the fracking field, and a projected 3.5 million job increase by 2035. Uh, so you have that huge job boost. It's not only just in the oil field, it's also would be in the housing market, in the food industries, hotels, local businesses, because you have all those workers that are coming up for the pipeline to come up and they're going to need a place to stay, eat, stuff like that. Um, also with the economy, um, going back to the money aspect, there's precisely 20 trillion cubic feet of gas and 5.5 billion barrels of oil available. Um, for us to use according to SourceWatch.org. Um, with the court oil price being $55 per barrel and on the rise, that's according to oilprice.net, 
as of yesterday. Uh, that's a huge amount of income just sitting there waiting. Um, and with this process being a quicker, more efficient, cost-effective process, it's, it, it makes it a lot easier for us to use the fracking instead of the old method. Also along with that, um, there's an economic boost that we don't need to um, import or export or import any oil. If we have that large supply, we can stay, keep the oil here. Um, we can also even export some uh, to gain more money. Um, some environmental pros of fracking. Uh, that's where they, fracking gets a, a bad rap is the environmental. Everyone says that it's terrible for the environment, it's dis disruptive. Um, but I've found some pros. Um, basically, there's a lot of high regulations involved with the oil companies and being able to do their job. They can't just go and do whatever they want and then leave and leave it how it how it how they're done with it. Um, they have different policies set in place, uh, mainly for afforestation. So once they come in, they have regulations they have to follow before, during, and after. So once they do leave, they're required to plant 55% of total lost foliage. Um, there's also annual testing that goes into all the areas around the fracking sites, uh, the water sources, the natural habitat, the animal, um, the animal habitat. For several years after the, they're done drilling, there's required tests that if anything's wrong, the company has to come back and fix it. If not, they are usually sued and shut down. So it's not something that the companies really want to screw up on, so they really are strict on following that so they can keep going with what they have going on already. Also, with um, more pros is that the companies also have to follow the sediment and erosion control. They have to add more dirt, fill, and everything like that. So where spots were potentially eroding before they can add more and replenish that supply. And then next would be the political pros of fracking. Um, some of the main political pros that I found were, like I said before, you cut down on the imports, which is a big thing. Um, also, there, you would have more exporting. There would be a tax reduction on not having an import tax from getting the oil overseas. And a lot of society, like civil civilizations, civilians, they would not have to pay as much at the pump for our oil that's straight from here, which is really nice. It would save money. And I also believe that there's a lot of turmoil that goes on overseas over the oil, the fight for oil and everything. And I believe that if we had our own oil and we didn't have to go over there for that reason, that it would be a peace, more peaceful place as well. Some cons that i found of fracking, um, the economic side, um, there's obviously a initial disruption to the environment. Uh, you have to obviously break ground to get down to the oil supply and the gas supply. Um, there's also a danger to the water supply with the fracking water and breaking up the rocks. You have potential that the gas could leak into a water supply. You have the possibility that the fracking water could get into the water supply as well. Um, you also need a lot of water for the fracking process. So there's, there's a risk of drought there, especially if you contaminate the water supply, then there's also that water you can't use either. Um, another concern would be fracking water disposal, what, what they're going to do with that fracking water, make sure that they don't leave it down underground to where it can saturate into the water supply, like I was saying. And also there has been cases where they believe that there's been earthquakes caused by fracking. Uh, it makes sense, uh, you're messing with the, the ground and tectonic plates. Any certain movement can trigger an earthquake at any time, which is, there's definitely a fear of that there as well. Also, another side would be that it takes a long time for natural resources and fossil fuels to replenish themselves. So if you try to, if you use it up too quick, then there's not going to be any supply for future generations. 
also from all the, the work that is being done um, with all the equipment, you have the obvious risk with the ozone layer and the emissions that come off of the machines that are running. And then some environmental cons of fracking. Uh, you have obvious deforestation. Uh, they have to cut down trees to make room for the fracking sites. Um, the wastewater, like I was saying, with the fracking water, um, you have the risk of the water table contamination. You have air pollution, water pollution. Uh, that's always a risk, and the risk of earthquakes, like I was saying. So basically, my opinion on the on the topic. I'm an environmental science major, so I've been studying and doing a lot of research all four years here at Mount on whether or not fracking is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I believe that it's going to stay no matter what because it's so cost effective and it's so you can get so much out of the out of the ground quickly because instead of drilling and having to lift the whole rig drill again you drill once and it covers the entire area underneath. Uh, I believe it's extremely beneficial the economy side um, the environmental side and the political side are all very beneficial there's nothing that I fear that there's happening to the environment negatively um, with the regulatory systems that are set in place, I really don't think that there's a way that companies can really hurt the environment because it's so watched. There's all the systems, the afforestation after you leave, you have to do so and so. Um, you have to plant the trees, you have to put new ground in. Uh, it, it can also be a good thing if you look at a lot of farmers will actually completely wipe their fields out and burn some, even burn it as a controlled burn to rework the ground and sometimes a reworking of the ground can actually make it more um, nutrient rich. Um, it's, I believe it's a huge economic boost. I think that Ohio should definitely stay on board. I think they were one of the last states to really jump on this train and I think that because they've slept on it longer with the pricing market about to boom here pretty soon. I believe that we can get the most benefits out of it instead of doing it before and not getting as much out of it. And I think it's just a huge money maker for Ohio and the United States. Thank you. There's my sources. Oh, oh, come back. Wait. <laughs>